Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. We are on Unit Five. We're talking about your senses. So, in this unit, you will learn about the five senses using your body parts. Well, first of all, we need to look at what are the five senses. There are five. Do you know what they are? Can you think about it? Here is a picture of a boy. Right? We can look at him. We can look at his body parts and figure out what are the five senses that he has and that we all have. Well, first of all, what's the most important sense? Right? It has to do with our eyes. Our eyes. So with our eyes, we can see. We can see. That's the first sense. We can see things. What about between the eyes? We've got this right here, right? We have a big one, right? Mine is a big one. <laughs> It's a nose, right? So the nose here. What do we do with the nose? We smell. We smell. Okay. So eyes see, nose smell. Under the nose, we have this, right? A mouth. But inside the mouth, we have our tongue. Our tongue. What do we use our tongue for? What do we use the tongue for? One of the senses is taste. Taste. So we taste things. All right. What does it taste like when we eat? What does what does the food taste like? So we have three. One, two, three. How about number four? Still on the head, right? We have eyes, nose, tongue, and what are these things here? Right? These big things on the side of your head. Those are ears, right? What do we use ears for? We use ears to hear, to hear. So we can hear when our mother is saying, "Hey, come here!" Right? Oh, we got to go, right?、Uh, we use our ears to hear things. So we have see, smell, taste, hear. There's one more. Can you think of it? Is it on the head? Well, actually, it's all over our body. Usually we use our fingers, but we can use any part of our skin. We can use any part of our skin to touch or to feel. So we can say touch or feel. You can feel something. What does it feel like? Well, touch it, right? Touch it, and you can figure out what it feels like. Usually we use our fingers, right? Does it? What does it feel like? But we can use any part of our skin. If you have a dog, you can push your cheek against the dog, right?、It、feels soft. Ah, nice doggy, right? Or if you're going swimming, right? You want to know is the water cold or hot? So you put your foot, your toes, in the water. <laughs> It's cold, right? So that's touch or feel. So we have our five senses: see, smell, taste. Hear and touch, right? Touch or feel, and that's any part of your body. Your fingers, your cheek, your elbow, your toes, any part of your body, you can touch something. Those are the five senses. Now let's learn some vocabulary that has to do with these five senses. Our first word is this object here. It's a strange object. I've never seen that before, right? What is that? Things that help you see. Things that help you see. What is? Oh, wait a minute. I've got them on my head, right? What are these things? Okay. What do you call them? They're glasses. Glasses. Note that we use plural. We say it's like plural. It's one thing. Yes, it's one thing. But we use it as plural because there are two lenses. We say glasses. Glasses. Okay. So these are glasses. Okay, the next word. Now this is something to do with the one of the senses we talked about when you use your tongue, right? When you taste something, the taste of candy, or in this case, ice cream, ice cream, candy, cake, things that have sugar. What does it taste like? It tastes sweet. Hmm, that's good. Sugar, things that have sugar in them. 
taste sweet. Mmm, it's very good, right? Like ice cream, candy, we really like those things, right? Don't eat too much. I know it's sweet, it tastes good, but don't eat too much because it's bad for your teeth. Anyway, these things taste sweet. What is the opposite of sweet? Pandero. Well, that would be, oh, look at this poor boy, right? What is he doing? He's eating a lemon, the taste of lemons. Did you ever take a lemon and lick it? Oh, right? What, it, what do we say? It is very, not sweet, pandero, it's sour. Ooh, sour, right? Sour is the taste of lemons. It's the opposite of sweet, okay? Okay, now here we have another word. This has to do with uh, this object here. It's something that grows on a bird's wing. It grows on a bird's wing. So a bird can fly, right? But the bird has to have many of these things on its wing, also all over its body, not just its wing. It looks like this. It's very soft. If you take, a, if you take this and you brush it against your cheek, right? You can use your cheek to feel or to touch something. Ah, oh, it's very soft. What is it? It, of course, is a feather. Feather. Be careful with the F. F. Feather. And T-H. The. The. Feather. So we say feather. It's a feather. It grows on a bird's wing. And it's very soft if we touch it. Very nice. Now we have this here. Now this is an interesting picture. This boy is between his father and his mother, right? And his mother and his father are holding his hand. How does this boy feel? He's out of harm's way. Harm is like danger, right? Joshimeo, right? Harm is something that can hurt you. So be careful. You want to stay away from harm. You want to stay away from danger. If you are out of the way of danger or you're away from harm, what are you? Then you are safe. I'm safe, right? Nothing is going to harm him. He's happy. He's safe between his parents. So he is safe. Okay, before we talked about feather, right? We said a feather is very soft. Well, here we have an object here, and the word that we have uh, to define it is stone. So basically, we're looking for another word that means the same as stone. Uh, stone is very hard, right? What is another word that we can use to talk about this? Of course, it's very simple. It's rock. Rock. R. 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 Rock. Okay? So it's a rock. A rock is very hard. Don't throw rocks, because if the rock hits you, ow, ooh, ooh, it hurts your head because it's very hard and it's heavy, right? So be careful with rocks. Do not throw rocks, okay, uh, at other people, right? You can throw rocks in the water, okay, but don't throw rocks at other people. That's very dangerous, okay? Rocks are hard, okay. Our next word is this right here. What is that, right? We have two of them, right? I have two of them behind my glasses, right? You see things with this, with this. We're only talking about one now. You see things with this. What is it? It is an eye. And of course, we have two, so we have eyes. Everybody has two eyes. But if you want to talk about one, you just say, uh, I can see with one eye, right? Or cover one eye. So eye is singular, eyes plural. We all have two eyes. Everybody has two eyes. And what do we use our eyes for? We see things. That's one of our five senses we talked about before. Another one of the five senses we talked about before is to hear. And do you remember what I said we use to hear with? Of course, we have two, but we're talking about just one here. What is this? Do you remember? It's called an ear. Ear. So we have one ear, two ears. Again, we just say two ears. One ear, two ears two ears. Okay, so of course, 
You're listening to me right now. You're hearing me with your ears, and you're watching me with your eyes. Okay, so those are two of the senses we talked about. Okay. Oh, look at poor doggy. <laughs> He's he looks so so sad, right? So so pitiful, right? He's covered with water. If he's covered with water, or you go outside in the rain, it rains a lot. You don't have an umbrella. All the water falls on you. You're covered with water, like the poor doggy here. What do you say? The doggy is wet. The doggy is wet, and we can feel right if we're wet with our skin. That's one of our senses. We can, with our touch, with our skin, we can feel. Oh, we're very wet. Let's dry off, right? Uh, so we're wet. This is wet, covered with water. Okay, don't do this. <laughs> This is not good for her ears, right? What's going on? She's making a big noise. To make a big noise, what do we call that? We say it's loud. It's very loud. Making a big noise. If something makes a big noise, we say it's loud, right? This woman is very loud, and、uh, this poor woman is going to hurt her ear, right? So be careful. Don't do this. It's just a picture, but it's showing loud. Something is very loud. Makes a big noise. Okay. Okay. Here we have to have a particular flavor. So this woman, she looks like a cook, right? She is a cook, and she is making looks like soup, and she wants to. Find the flavor. She wants to know what is the flavor of the soup. So what is she, what is she doing? She is tasting. This is one of the senses we talked about before to taste. She's using her tongue, right? She's using her tongue to taste the soup because it's your tongue, not your mouth, but your tongue that we use to taste food. What does it taste like? What does it taste like? That is、uh, to have a particular flavor. It tastes. Now we can taste something, but an object can also have a taste, right? The strawberries taste sweet, and that has a particular flavor. Lemons taste sour, so we can use taste in two ways. We people can taste something, but objects. Can have a taste. What do they taste like? What do they taste like? Okay. Then we have to look at something. To look at something. Wow, he's using these are. By the way, these are binoculars. That's a big word. Binoculars. A binoculars. Binoculars are really big. They're like glasses, right? But they're really strong. They let you see things. Wow! It comes really close. Whoa! Right? You look at some. Whoa! It's really close, and it's a lot bigger. So you can really see things that are far away with binoculars. What is he doing? He's looking at something. Another word. Another word for look is see. I can see. That's one of our five senses. Now down here we have the verb. The verb changes in form whether we use it present tense. Past tense or present participle (PP), right? So, what are the different forms? We have see, saw, seen. See, saw, seen. I see you. I saw him this morning. I have seen that movie. See, saw, seen. Okay, okay. So that's see to look at something. Okay, let's go on to our vocabulary exercise. Let's match those words. How well do you remember those words? Let's match those words with their definition. Okay, what are our words? Our words are glasses, glasses, sweet, mmm, sweet, sour, sour, feathers, feathers. Note that it's plural. Feathers, safe, safe, and rock, rock. Right. Be careful with the rock. Okay. Let's look at number one. Number one. They help you see. 
They help you see. What helps you see? What on earth could help you see? I don't, oh, it's these right here, right? These help me see. You might wear them too. What are they? They are glasses, glasses. Glasses help us see if you need them. Okay, number two, the taste of candy. What does candy taste like? What does it taste like? The taste of candy, which one? Is candy sour? No, candy is sweet, right? Candy is sweet, it tastes good. We like to eat candy. The taste of lemons is number three. Are lemons sweet? No, lemons are not sweet. Right? They're very sour, right? They are sour. Lemons are sour. So we say that lemons are sour. The taste of lemons, sour. The taste of candy, sweet. Okay? These are kind of like opposites. Okay, number four. Out of harm's way. It's out of harm's way. It's not in danger. Not in danger, right? The same, that means not in danger is the same meaning, not in danger. If it's not in danger, it's out of harm's way, what is it? Of course, it is safe, right? It's safe, out of harm's way, not in danger. Okay, number five, another word for stone, another word for stone. It's sometimes small and hard. You can throw it, but be careful. Only throw it in the water, okay? Or where there's no, but, no people or no buildings, right? What do we call this? Of course, we call this a rock. It's a rock. Be careful with rocks. They're very hard. Okay, number six. These are on a bird's wing. So a bird has many of these. By the way, not just on the wing, but the bird has them all over their body, on their tail too, right? So on a bird's wing, it's very soft if you touch uh, it against your skin, it's very soft. The bird has many of them. The bird has many feathers, feathers. So those are our words for this unit. Okay, so then let's take a break and we'll take a look at the reading section. Don't go away. Okay, you guys, welcome back. We're going over the reading section for unit five or lesson five, which is called your senses. Remember, there are five senses. That's what we're talking about here. The first sentence, the topic sentence is, we all, all of us have five different senses. Five different senses. What are the senses? They are seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, and taste. Whew, five, right? So this is number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five, okay? They are seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, and taste. Our senses help keep us safe. They keep us safe. They keep us away from harm, out of danger. We can see there's a car coming, right? Don't cross the street. We can hear, oh no, there's something happening. Uh, we can run away. The, our senses keep us safe, out of danger. Different body parts are used for each sense. So each sense, each one, two, three, four, five, different body parts are used for each of those. One, two, three, four, five, different body parts. Ear is a body part. Nose is a body part. Tongue, <laughs> tongue is a body part. Let me write that for you. Tongue, tongue is a body part. Eye is a body part and finger or skin is a body part. These are the body parts that we use for each sense, each of these five senses. Okay, let's review, let's read together. We all have five different senses. They are seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, and taste. Our senses help keep us safe. Different body parts are used for each sense. Okay, let's move on. 
we're going to talk about the different body parts. We have two eyes, right? Well, I talked about that before. We have two eyes. We use, what do we use our eyes for? We use our eyes to see. We use something to do something else. We use our eyes to see, so we can see. Some people can't see well, like me. I'm like, who are you? Where? I don't, ah, okay, now I can see you, hello. Okay, some people can't see well. These people wear glasses, wear glasses. By the way, we use this same verb for everything. English is easy that way. I wear a hat. I wear glasses. I wear a shirt. I wear pants. I wear shoes. All of it is wear. Put something on your body, you are wearing it. We don't change that verb, okay? So we wear glasses if we can't see well. Let's review. We have two eyes. We use our eyes to see. Some people can't see well. These people wear glasses. These people wear glasses. Okay? Okay, let's move on. We talked about eyes. Now let's talk about ears. Can you make your ears go like this? Okay. Okay, we have ears. We have two ears. We have two ears. We use our ears to hear. We use our eyes to see. We use our ears to hear. Some things we hear are loud. Oh, it's too loud, right? Some things we hear are quiet or soft. Huh? Did you hear that? Right? Some things we hear are quiet. It's hard to hear. Okay, let's review here. We have two ears. We use our ears to hear. Some things we hear are loud. Some things we hear are quiet. These are easy sentences, right? They're very, the same pattern we can see again as the previous slide, or we can see them again here. Okay, then we talked about eyes, we talked about ears, now let's talk about nose. We have a nose. A means one. A means one. We have a nose. One nose. We use our nose to smell. Again, the same pattern. Flowers smell good. Oh, flowers smell good. Nice. Ah, choyo, right? Wet dogs smell bad. <sighs> wet dogs smell bad. Wet dogs, wet socks, <laughs> right? Things like that, they smell bad. Okay, so let's review here. We have a nose. We use our nose to smell. Flowers smell good. Wet dogs smell bad, okay? So again, we can see smell can be used two different ways. We smell something, right? But objects smell also. It's a different way. We smell them, but the object smells by itself. The flower isn't smelling. The flower isn't mm, people. No, we smell the flowers, right? The flower smells good to us. So we use smell in two different ways. Okay. We do the same thing with taste. We'll see that. We have a mouth, a mouth, one mouth, like we talked about before. We have a mouth. We use our mouth to taste, right? We use our mouth to taste. Uh, our tongue in our mouth, we use that to taste. Candy tastes sweet. Tastes. Candy tastes sweet. We taste candy, right? Lemons taste sour. Ooh, right? Lemons taste sour. Those are our opposites. So again, just like smell, we taste something. Humans taste something, but things also taste. But it doesn't mean that candy has a tongue. Candy isn't tasting things. Candy tastes something to us. Candy tastes sweet. When we talk about the flavor or the smell of something, we say it tastes or it smells. And that's what it does. But it's not doing the same thing we're doing. We are tasting it or we are smelling it, right? That's our action. But when an object tastes or smells, that's just the sensation. That's what we sense 
from that object, okay? So again, smell and taste are similar in that way. People taste things, other things taste. What does it taste like? Okay, so let's review. We have a mouth. We use our mouth to taste. Candy tastes sweet. Mmm. Lemons taste sour. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Finally, we have two hands, right? We have two hands. One, two. We use our hands, we use our hands to feel, right? Especially if we, we're, it's a dark room and we can't see, we can use our hands to feel. A rock feels hard. A feather feels soft. So again, we can see feel is the same idea as smell and taste, right? We feel something, it feels something to us. We can fi figure out what it feels like. What does it feel like? We have two hands. So let's review. We have two hands. We use our hands to feel. A rock feels hard. A feather feels soft, right? So we use our hands to feel something. We use our nose to smell something. We use our tongue to taste something. But those things smell, taste, or feel in a way, and that tells us what it feels like, right? Oh, look at this, very cute, right? A little baby's feet, <laughs> right? He laughs. The baby's feet feel soft, right? They feel soft. A feather feels soft, baby's feet feel soft, right? And if you tickle him, if you tickle him, he laughs. Tickle, tickle, <laughs> right? Okay, so uh, be careful doing that too much, okay? So tickle. So. This is our reading passage. Let's do the reading comprehension questions, see how much you can remember from the reading passage. But the reading was pretty simple, wasn't it? We can do these uh, questions very easily. Let's look at number one. This story is about, so we're looking for the main idea. What is the main idea, the topic, the subject of this reading passage? What is it? Is it about A, our senses, B, our ears, C, our noses, D, our eyes. If we look at B, C, and D, we can see that, yeah, we talked about our, our ears, we did, but that was only a small part, one detail. Our noses was only one detail, eyes only one detail. The whole reading passage wasn't about just our ears, just our noses, or just our eyes. It was about all three and two more. All of those five, it was about our ears, our noses, our eyes, our hands, and our mouth, or our tongue. So it was about all five what? All five of our senses. So that is the right answer. This story is about our senses. Yes, they talked about ears, noses, eyes. Yes, that's true, but not just about those things. Those are details. So the story is not about these things. These things are details. This is the whole subject, the entire subject, that includes ears, noses, eyes, mouth, and hands, right? Everything. So A is the correct answer. Okay, right, let's move on to number two. We use our eyes. So when we talked about our eyes, we use our eyes to do what? A, C, B, hear, C, taste, D, juggle. What's juggle? Juggle is when you have three things and you, I can't do it. If I do it, I'm going to throw them all over the place. But if I have three balls and I throw them in the air, right? They go, ooh, like that. You can see some people who can do it. I can't do it. But you can see people who do it. That's juggling. Do we talk about juggling in the reading comprehension? Not in the reading passage? No, we didn't talk about juggling. That was a surprise, right? That was surprising. So, uh, do we use our eyes to taste? No, we use our tongue to taste, so that's not right. Do we use our eyes to hear? Hello, hello. I, my, I, 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 if my eyes are closed, I can't hear, right? No, that's crazy, <laughs> okay? Um, we don't use our eyes to hear, we use our ears to hear. We use our tongue to taste. We use our eyes to do what? We use our eyes to see. That's the correct answer, right? We use our eyes to see. We open our eyes, we can see. Close your eyes, 
you can't see. Okay? Okay, so we use our eyes to see. Number three, rocks. Remember rocks? I said be careful. Don't throw them at people. Why? Because rocks are what? A, soft. B, hard. C, sweet. D, good hats. What? You take a rock and you put it on your head. Let's look at my hat. It's very good. That's a silly one, right? Sometimes the answers are silly. They're trying to trick you or surprise you, right? Like juggle or good hats, right? That's not the right answer. Rocks are sweet. Mmm. Don't do that. Right? That's not. That's dirty. Rocks are dirty. Don't taste rocks, okay? They are not sweet, okay? So we shouldn't use that one. Rocks are hard. Are rocks hard? Yes, they're hard. That's why you have to be careful. Be careful with rocks. Don't throw them at people. They're very hard. They can hurt people. So rocks are hard. Hard is the opposite of soft. Rocks are not soft, right? It's not, you throw a rock, boom, oh, nice, it's soft. No, it goes, ow, right? And then people cry. You don't want that because rocks are hard, not soft, okay? So B is our correct answer. Rocks are hard. Be careful with rocks, okay? Here we have our chart here, right? And we can, it's the same boy that we saw at the before, right? So let's match up the different body parts. These are all the different body parts to what we use them to sense. What are the senses, right? So our body parts again are eyes, nose, ears, mouth, and hands. Let's go over these. How do we use five senses? One, we use our eyes for what? What do we use our eyes for? We use our eyes to see. We use our eyes to see. Two, we use our nose, right? There's a flower. We use our nose to what? We use our nose to smell, to smell the smell. Sometimes smells are good, but sometimes smells are bad, Ooh, right? Like a wet dog or somebody's feet, ooh, right? They smell bad. Three, we use our ears. What do we use our ears for, right? We want to listen to music. We hear our mother calling our name. So we use our ears to hear, to hear something. We use our mouth. What do we use our mouth for? Every time we eat, right, we do what with the food? We use our mouth to taste the food. And it's really our tongue that we're using, not the whole mouth. We're using the tongue to taste. And we use our hands, right? We use our hands because we want to see what something, what? What it feels like. We use our hands to feel. But remember, not just your hands, you can use your cheek, right? You can use your toes. You can use your elbow. You can use any part of your body to touch something and see what does it feel like. What does it feel like? So this is how we use our five senses and this is what unit five is all about. Remember, we have five senses and we use different body parts to do these different things. Why do we do these things? Because our senses help keep us safe, right? We use our eyes to see if there's cars on the street. Be careful, don't cross, there's cars coming. We can use our eyes. We can use our nose to smell. Ooh, this, smell, this milk smells bad, don't drink it. If you drink it, you'll be in danger, right? You'll have a bad stomach ache. Maybe you have to go to the hospital. So we use our nose to keep us safe. We use our ears to keep us safe, right? There's a loud noise, boom, right? Watch out, be careful, there's something happening. We use our mouth to taste something. Ooh, it tastes bad. Don't eat it. We use our hands to feel something. Whoa, that is hot. Be careful. Don't touch it because it feels hot. Okay? So we use all of our five senses in order to keep us safe. So those are our senses. Very interesting knowledge about our bodies and what we use our bodies for. Well, I hope you've learned a lot in this lesson. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.